everyone, Terry Gigi here. I'm here to do the final installment of The Best is Yet to Come. I'm still in Florida, but I, when I upload this, I'll be in Texas. But um, I had some time to pre-film, so that's what I'm um, doing. The Best is Yet to Come has been a series that I've been doing, and if you haven't seen any of them, I'm going to link the intro and the other ones in the bottom bar below. It's mainly just for women as we get older and... Um, we're looking at the rest of our life and what can we do to enhance it and to make it better and to make it more fun and just to enjoy it and not just, you know, um, go through the motions. How can we do things to totally change what we're doing if we want to? My last one is hope. Um, I've done hobbies, which was creativity. I've done health. I've done husband. And I've done home. Today is the last installment, and it's on installment, and it's on hope or the rest of your life. I don't care how old you are. Today is the beginning of the rest of your life, and it's really, really true. You know, while I've been while I've been in Florida, I have been visiting uh, my friend Sheila, who has had a relapse of a brain tumor. And let me tell you something, she has lived her life to the fullest. There's no regrets. She, um, she did it all. And even though she's so sick now, um, she can just look at her kids and her husband and just know that she did the best she could do. She did a fantastic job. She loved life, and she lived it with gusto. And it's really, really inspired me. You never know when something's going to happen to you. You never know when you're going to get sick. You never know when you might lose someone you love. You never know when, um, you just don't know. You don't know what tomorrow brings. And um, Sheila's hope was in Jesus Christ, and she's going to meet him someday. I don't know when. We all are. Uh, one way or the other, you're going to see him face to face. But um, <clears throat> that's really where my hope lies. But I'm not going to talk about religion today, but that is where my hope lies. Absolutely. 100%. I am not afraid to die. I'm afraid of the dying part, but I'm not afraid to be dead because absent here is present with the Lord in my life. So just throwing that out there. Now, what else do I talk about the rest of your life and hope? Um, if you don't know where your hope is, now's the time to think about that and look at that and look at your life and look at your spiritual life and say, where is my hope? Is it in my money, my things? That all can be gone in the blink of an eye. And maybe that can cause anxiety in your life if your hope is in your big home and your home, your cars and your wardrobe and your purses and all that kind of stuff that we can get caught up in. If that's where kind of your life is and your hope is, I would be anxious too because I probably don't know if I'm even going to ever buy another designer purse. So I better not have my hope and stuff like that. I've downsized. Thank goodness my hope wasn't in my big house in Florida because I had to leave it. I had to sell it and leave it and we downsized. So my hope's not in my home, anything like that. So you think about where your hope is and make sure it's worth the time you're spending on it for the future. Just make sure it's worth it. But sometimes I think we get caught up in life and we don't even think about it. We don't even think where our priorities are. We're not paying attention to that. Make sure you've got all that in line for the rest of your life. Look at your, um, you, you probably at this point in your life, you know, if you're an older woman, like that's kind of who I'm talking about, women that are becoming empty nesters and stuff. Maybe it's time to reevaluate what you're doing. It's time to look at everything, everything, examine it. See if it's what you want. And if it's not, think, can I change this? And if I can't change it, how can I make it better? We are all capable of change. We are all capable. We have so much freedom and opportunity in this world to make it a better place or to make your life a better life. Something else I have on my notes here that I typed. Look at your, um, reevaluate. Look at your goals. Set new goals. I have a notebook. I don't think I brought it. Yeah, I have this notebook. It's my goals notebook. It's something about writing stuff down is amazing that you will actually get it done if you write it down, you know? So set goals. Look at your future. Look at your responsibilities that you have. Think about what are my responsibilities? 
to my spouse, to my home, to my community? Um, what are your, what's your volunteer work? Do you have any volunteer work? Do you want to start volunteering somewhere and helping to make a difference in someone else's life? You know, it might be your family. You might have a family that you need to put all your energy into right now to help them for whatever reason, whatever reason, that might be where it is. But be sure in that respect, with that big responsibility that you're taking time for yourself and you're looking at life and you're not on autopilot. I think that's what happens so often. You're on autopilot and then you look back and you go, where did those 20 years go? You know, I have just enjoyed so much, even with all the things that's, that are going on in my life that are really hard. I'm enjoying life every single day because I have such hope for the future. I have goals regardless of what's going on. I'm still here. I'm still me. Sometimes I have really lost myself in what's been going on. No, no, no. I'm me. They're them. I can help, but other everybody's responsible for their own self. So just look at that and, and, and reevaluate. Really think about your life. What's your lifestyle? Think about that. Think about how you run your day, run your life. Do I, Are you having fun doing it or is it awful? What can you do? Sometimes it's the smallest little tweaks. Maybe it's getting up earlier. Maybe it's going to bed earlier. Maybe it's getting started quickly. As soon as you get out of bed, you get going with your day. You get going with your day. You'd be amazed how much you can do in one day if you start early. I've already said that in another video. But think about your dreams. What were your dreams when you were a kid, when you were a teenager? It's never too late, y'all. It's never too late to achieve some of your dreams. Um, now, if you wanted to be a heart surgeon in your 60s, I don't know if that's going to happen. But think about what did you want to do? And how can you, or do you still want that? You may not want that dream anymore. You know, I used to, I wanted to be an actress so bad when I was little. I wanted to be an actress for a long time. Um, but I never pursued it. I don't really know why, but I think life just got in my way. And and I probably couldn't have done it, but I'm probably not going to uh, pursue that now. But you know what? I don't know. Maybe being on YouTube is my acting. Maybe this is where I'm getting that out of my system or pursuing uh, something along those lines. I know that sounds crazy, but think about what you wanted to do that, that still pains you that you didn't do. You know, it still kind of bothers me that I never gave that a shot. You know, I never like tried out for stuff or, you know, I was in a play once. I did do that. And you know what? I ended up not liking it. I didn't like being in that play. It was hard. It was embarrassing. It was terrible. I knew I was not very good at it. So see, I kind of got it out of my system, but I still do think about acting. But anyway, whatever it was, at least think about it. And maybe you can do it in a different way, you know. Maybe you wanted to be, um, I don't know, a pediatric doctor. I'm, I don't know why I'm on doctor, but I am. Or nurse. Say so you wanted to be a nurse when you grew up. It's a different spin. But you never did get to. Maybe you got pregnant when you were... 18 and barely married or not even married and you never got to do that thing that you wanted to do. Well, now you're it's later in life. Think about, could you go back to nursing school and become a nurse or could you volunteer? Could you go to the hospital? They have people that go and, and um, work with the children, you know, spend time with them in the playroom area of the hospital, you know, where kids go that are in there a long time for cancer or whatever. Maybe you could volunteer Maybe what you wanted to do and you didn't get to do, you could volunteer in that area and get that same feeling. You know what I mean? But mainly this whole series has been about thinking it through, thinking about your life and being deliberate and being specific and just not letting it pass you by, but looking and saying, you know, I have all these years left. You know, I'm 55 years old. I have a lot of years left, I hope. And I'm not going to stop now. I'm going to keep going. I have things I want to accomplish. And that is so exciting. And that keeps me up even in difficult times knowing, you know, I'm having a difficult time today. This is really hard. I'm going to have to do this, this, and this. But you know what? Tomorrow, I'm going to do something else for me on in my goals or in my area. So that's it. That's my series. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, hope for the future. It's going to be good. Uh, Look forward to it. Make these changes and these adjustments. And uh, 
you probably will not believe what might happen to you if you've been in a rut. You can certainly get out of it. So that's it for today. I'll talk to y'all later. I hope you enjoyed this series. And uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And please leave a comment below. Uh, if this series has helped you at all, leave me a comment. Let me know how. I'll talk to you later. Bye.